Hi friend! It's Andy here. Um, today is the fifth day in a row that I will be practicing my shakuhachi flute. And this 5 out of 365 because that's my goal is to do 365 days of shakuhachi practice. And why not put it on YouTube? <laughs> um, I decided to put it on YouTube because one, it helps me hold myself accountable because I've already started so it would be awkward if I didn't finish. And vulnerability is a superpower that I'm trying to practice as well. And you know, self-expression and facing our fears and all that jazz. So because of all of that, I'm here with you. So thanks for being here with me. I appreciate you. And what I'd like to do before I start practicing the flute, the shakuhachi, is to draw a card from the Enchanted Map Oracle deck. So that way, you and I have something to meditate on while we shakuhachi. Okay, yesterday's message was um, stuck in the mud saying to shift your attention elsewhere and appreciate the little things, slow down kind of message. So I chose to listen to that message and after this practice, I went on a walk. And I don't go on lots of walks right now. Um, it's quite cold out. I'm in South Central Alaska and yesterday was a beautiful day, sunny and gorgeous and like zero degrees. <laughs> so I went out, got bundled up, I got a really adorable picture of myself with like my eyelashes covered in ice and everything afterwards. Um, but what was really special during this walk was, I was just walking to the library, it's like 20 minute walk each way. Um, what was really special on this walk was I saw a bush that had berries on it. And I was like, how on earth are there berries growing on this bush? It is January. It's like the middle of winter. It's zero degrees out. But there they were. And it wasn't just one of them. Like, there were multiple bushes. I don't know if they They probably weren't edible berries. Like, I, I have no idea. They weren't like blueberries. Um, it was much too cold to take my gloves off and take a picture. So they're just mental picture. Um, but I was really inspired by these bushes with berries because they were covered in ice and frost, but they were so resilient and so determined. Like the, I get a lot of inspiration from the plants here because even though they know that it's going to get cold and they're going to lose their leaves, they still do it anyway. They don't let the fear of loss in the future prevent them from living to their fullest in their moment. Um, so yeah, Alaska inspires me that way. Um, and yeah, these berries, I was just so impressed. Like, they're so resilient. Like, they, no leaves on the bushes. No nothing. Just, just these little berries. Little reddish, orangish, single circle berries. Um, so yeah, that was really sweet. So I did my best to follow the message given through the cards, and then I got home and I had some tea and I warmed back up. But anyway, now we're here today. Okay, so, um, message from the universe. Tell me when to stop. Early one? Oh. Oh, I'm torn between the two cards. First card or second card? Okay, second card. Because that's the one you chose. Oh, encouragement. Also reversed though. More giraffes. We had giraffes on, um, was it day three? With the come together card? 54 is the number. 
Okay, I've gotten this card before, but I don't know if I've ever gotten this card reversed. So let's see what the message is. 54, that's gotta be one of the last ones. That is the last one, the last card in the back. Okay, let's see. Encouragement, you are receiving a nudge in the right direction. Okay, let's see if I can not mess up on the first sentence this time. Okay, a misstep isn't the end of the world. You've fallen into a trap of false encouragement, and only humility will lead you out of it. Perhaps you weren't listening to your intention, and now you're in a jam. Being too self-reliant without knowing the ropes has brought you to this place. Don't become too discouraged. All is well. You can always start again. Take another road and surely discover new territories where love really blooms. Just remember to rely on your higher power. You can't always get what you want, but spirit knows your needs. Something better awaits around the corner. Interesting. Okay. Perhaps you weren't listening to your, oh, I think I said that wrong. Perhaps you weren't listening to your intuition. And now you're in a jam. Being too self-reliant without knowing the ropes has brought you to this place. Hmm. You've fallen into a trap of false courage. I think I said that wrong too. I think I said encouragement, not courage. Okay, let's read it again. A misstep isn't the end of the world. You've fallen into a trap of false courage, and only humility will lead you out of it. Perhaps you weren't listening to your intuition, and now you're in a jam. Being too self-reliant without knowing the ropes has brought you to this place. Don't become too discouraged, all is well and you can always start again. Take another road and surely discover new territories where love really blooms. Just remember to rely on your higher power. You can't always get what you want, but spirit knows your needs. Something better awaits around the corner. Huh. I don't know what I can relate this to in my life yet. I think I'm going to have to ponder on this all day. Sometimes it takes me all day, because I like to draw these in the morning on a regular basis, and sometimes it takes me all day to figure out what the message really is, like how to um, interpret the message for myself specifically. But again, this message is for me and you. So I hope there's something that you can get out of this. Maybe it right away triggered something for you and brought a spark of something. Or maybe you'll also ponder on it all day until you think of something that you could receive from it, that you can take away from it. Something better awaits around the corner. All right. Cheers to turning corners. Okay, let's put these away. Shaku Hachi practice, here we go. So I did get a little bit of a snag this string which is made to just kind of hold the joint of the bamboo strong it has come loose um, so I don't know if I should I have actually I've learned the specific knot that is used on this um, while I was living in Hawaii which is where this is made as well this is made in Hawaii on Maui um, 
I took a, a Lomi Lomi class, which was super incredibly special. Maybe I'll share it with you sometime. I'll share more about it. Um, and I did learn this specific knot in that class because we were learning about um, Kualua, which is the back walking massage technique. And we were making like little bamboo staffs, not little, but bamboo staffs that we would use to support ourselves while we walk on the person's back. And it's the same kind of knot that was used here. So I might just put a new string around it or I might just kind of try to re-glue this one down. I'm not sure, but I need to be gentle. I should probably invite the person that made this shakuhachi to this channel. That would be a good idea. You'd probably like that. And also my roommate who gifted me this shakuhachi. I should let her know I'm doing this too. Okay. Here we go. Shakuhachi time. Sometimes it takes a minute to get to get it going. something new. <laughs> I don't know if it's, a, if it's a real note or it's just a, a different fingering. The upside of doing the vertical is that if you're interested in the finger positions I'm using, you can see that. Um, but this way is more of just to listen. Okay, let's get back.
there you have it. Shakuhachi practice, day five. I definitely had more of the visual interesting things happening. I've also noticed that it is quite difficult for me to actually meditate on the message of the card while I'm playing, but when I watch my video back, because I always watch my video back to one, see how I'm doing on camera, and two, obviously see how I'm doing on the shakuhachi. Um, so when I'm watching back, I notice that while I'm listening to myself play, it is much easier to resonate with the message. Um, so I hope you have gotten some peace and relaxation and some insight from today's video. And thank you for being here with me. A big namaste. Greatness in me acknowledges the greatness in you. So till tomorrow, have a great night and day and whatever <laughs> is coming your way. Okay, bye.